Palaroga Shark Media. Hi and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Author Pete Lloyd tells GB News, I think that King Charles should abdicate and I think that Prince William should step up and do the job, purely because I would love to see the reaction of Harry and Meghan. Imagine how delicious that would be to see them foaming at the mouth over William becoming king. Journalist and columnist Nina Miskell responded and asked Mr Lloyd why the pair who stepped back from royal duties in 2020 would foam at the mouth. He added, well, they'd be wild and jealous. Nina, Catherine would be queen. Miss Gale said, so what? The king has waited this long to fulfill his role. He is not going to go easily. I mean, over his dead body, literally, he is not going to give it up. And in terms of the engagements that he's carried out, he carries out about three or four times the engagements that William does. There still isn't any real news about what's going on with Kate. Royal expert Richard Eden says, I think there's no reason why Kate should feel bullied into giving more details. If she wants to at a later point, fine, that's up to her. But she shouldn't feel that she has to. It's been, she should give more details, and why doesn't she? And there's been more pressure. There's even been letters written to the Times newspaper saying it should be a great example to other women if she was more open about her medical problems and this sort of thing. The royal quiet continues with Charles, Kate and William largely out of the picture. The Express had to resort to a story under the headline, I'm a fitness expert. Here's how you can achieve Duchess Sophie's impressive physique. Author Robert Hartman tells US Weekly, It helps that we're in January. It's a relatively quiet royal month. It would be a different story if we were right in the middle of peak season, which is spring and early summer. Some think we'll see more of Charles' secret weapon, Sophie. Royal expert Jenny Bond told OK, It is so much more evident now that Sophie is a key member of the list of working royals. I think people have really taken to her in their hearts, especially after she showed her obvious grief at losing Prince Philip and the Queen. Her evident closeness with them was so much more than a bond. It looked like a deep affection for her in-laws. She was a huge support to the late Queen after Philip's death, popping around and watching movies with her, riding with her. She has a common touch, perhaps because she lived a normal life before marrying Prince Edward. She connects with the people she meets and looks as if she really wants to chat. Sophie is absolutely one of the new female stars of the show. Elegant, engaging and empathetic. But don't expect more of Beatrice and Eugenie, according to author Victoria Arbiter, who tells GB News, as the only blood-born princesses of their generation, it would be wonderful to see Beatrice and Eugenie take on more responsibility, but neither have indicated a desire to do so. Likewise, the king is keen to maintain a more cost-effective, slimmed-down monarchy. The current situation illustrates the perils associated with a smaller pool of senior working royals. But it's temporary, and both the king and the Princess of Wales plan to get back to work as soon as they're able. Beatrice and Eugenie are happy to support the family behind the scenes, but I think each enjoys the life they're able to live without the added burden of a full schedule of royal engagements. Richard Fitzwilliams told The Express, I think it's clear that with three senior working members of the royal family temporarily unable to carry out engagements, the Queen will both continue her planned engagements and help King Charles recuperate after his operation. It is worth remembering that she is extremely tough and for many years remained silent when she was the object of so much criticism. She will help the King, who is her soulmate, regain his strength. Palace Intrigue will be right back. Meghan has reportedly been presented with the opportunity to step into the role of a Hollywood director for at least one episode in the upcoming legal drama series tentatively titled Suits Los Angeles. This new series has received the green light from NBC Universal and Meghan's friend Aaron Korsh, the creator of the original show that aired for nine seasons from 2011 to 19, has already penned several episodes. According to a senior production source, negotiations between the network and the prominent talent agency WME, which represents the Duchess, are currently underway. The source emphasized, this is shaping up to be one of the biggest TV deals of the year. Megan is in a commanding position. They want to expand a successful franchise in which he has a ready-made fan base of millions worldwide. They want her back, and they are prepared to pay what it takes to get her. Reports suggest that Princess Kate's uncle Gary Goldsmith has signed up to appear on Celebrity Big Brother, potentially raising questions about what it could mean for the royal family should the outspoken businessman participate in the show. Gary Goldsmith, aged 58, is the younger brother of Kate's mother, Carol Middleton, aged 68. 
He is known as an IT recruitment boss and is estimated to be worth around £30 million. It is believed that he has signed a significant contract with ITV for his appearance when the show returns in March. Goldsmith is known for his candidness, and it's expected that viewers will hope for some insights into royal matters, as he has reportedly told TV producers that there are no off-limits topics for discussion. In the past, there were reports that he was planning to write a book as a response to Prince Harry's controversial memoir, Spare. However, it appears that his sister, Carol, convinced him to change the book's focus. A source shared, Gary is now focused on writing a book about his business ventures and how he became so successful. Writing about private family secrets or including details about a feud with Harry and Meghan just didn't make sense. Following all the antics that have gone on in recent years, it's best to put that chapter well and truly behind them. Gary Goldsmith had previously expressed interest in writing a memoir in 2013 and had attempted to participate in I'm a Celebrity last year, but was rejected at the final stage. An insider from Celebrity Big Brother stated, the CBB team love him because of his link to Kate and the fact that he's confident and loud and won't hold back. He's made it clear that he will talk about everything and anything, and he's pretty outspoken when it comes to Harry and Meghan. Gary also holds a deep affection for Kate and Wills and will be able to give a fascinating insight into what it's really like being related to the future king and queen. A spokesperson for Big Brother mentioned, any names suggested for Celebrity Big Brother are purely speculation. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Apple or Spotify or your app of choice. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. It helps us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to you, John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue. Good times. Good times.